just finished my first chakra healing session in Ubud, Bali. It was a one hour healing session and it was very interesting. I really felt something that I haven't really felt before and yeah, I'm gonna chill for a bit and I'm gonna open it up tomorrow in a bigger video but yeah energy healing it's I don't know I don't know what to say because I didn't think that I was gonna be this guy doing this but yeah it was a pleasant experience and something changed that's for sure so see you soon okay so it's now been two days since I went to this healer and uh, a lot has changed and the biggest thing that has changed is that I'm now fully aware that we're all energy and uh, that the state of our being is the most important thing that we can influence and uh, based on how we feel is the energy that we portray so my mind has shifted from needing to do a lot of external things to also focus on being the thing that i actually want and so on so it's been really interesting and uh I feel the, the need to kind of meditate and do more of the internal work and I've also realized a lot of kind of memories and limiting beliefs from my childhood and uh, I've now started to kind of process those so I'm gonna give it a few more days and then I'm gonna make another update but so far it has been pretty cool not only easy yesterday was pretty difficult and I had some very low moments but overall at the moment I feel great so let's check in in a couple of days all right Okay, so let's talk about the actual experience going to this chakra healer. And to be honest, I was kind of nervous and it was stepping out of uh, my comfort zone and uh, I'm super happy I did it. And it was my partner who initially said that she will bring me to this healer. And I said yes, but once it was time to actually go there, I was a bit confused. But I, I went there and uh, the only thing I needed to do, I, I went upstairs to this small place. It, it was a really simple room. This healer called Ketut, I think, he said that I need to write my name and where I'm from. And then he just showed me the massage table that was where I'm gonna lie. And uh, I went there and uh, he started right away. He had some music on, like this oriental, very calming music that you usually have in a spa or a Chinese restaurant or something like that. So the vibe was really good right away and I, I went there like six o'clock in the evening and I've I had had a really nice day we went to a monkey forest and we went to a waterfall so I had a really great mindset going in and uh, he started out with kind of I don't know doing with his hands like these movements and kind of pushing out energy and the thing that I, I realized early on was that he had a specific type of, of breathing I don't even 
know how to do it, but it was like, and that was something I noticed right away. I had my eyes open, I looked at the ceiling, I tried to be as much in the moment as possible, but I think it was maybe five minutes in, the healer came to me and said, you can try to stop thinking and put your, and, and close your eyes. And I realized, oh, I was analyzing the situation too much and he could probably notice it. Once I closed my eyes, I only started to focus on the moment and kind of be in this uh, meditation. And of course, it was completely new to me and he didn't say anything. So it was, it, it was kind of challenging to, to get back to the moment all the time. And, and I focused on my breath and I could sense when he was like really close to me. Sometimes he, he touched a little bit and he was moving all around my body and especially like the chakras. I could feel that there's something going on all the time. And at some point, my hands became really hot and they started to tingle in a completely new way. And it's still a little bit blurry of the whole kind of treatment. But I started to feel like really hot and it was kind of this moment of surrender when you're in a foreign country you you just met someone and your your eyes is closed and you kind of just have to trust i think it was about halfway he kind of waked me up from my like meditative state and told me to uh, switch over and, and and before that he actually had he touched some points and and he had this like more of like a little bit of, of pushing different parts of my body and once I turned over and, and was laying on my my stomach it got more into the physical and and he started to kind of push and and do his thing and at some point he had some kind of water thing that he sprinkled over me and uh, it's pretty interesting because I don't actually know what happened and I don't need to know what happened he also closed the windows he went to another room and, and there was like these happenings and he knows what he, he was doing he's a, a really well established healer with a lot of experience but not to drag out this video too much it ended with me kind of being surprised like oh what was that it i felt a little bit empty in my head and i and as you saw the video in the beginning where i'm totally out of it and it's right after the whole experience he gave me a bottle of water and and he didn't speak a lot of english so we didn't really talk i took some images of the room and and of the guy just to have some memories and that i can show you after that i was kind of just like what happened and i knew that something had changed but i didn't know what and now it feels like I got in touch with a deeper sense of being energy. And it's weird to even try to explain this because I didn't have this experience before. But now, a few days after, it's been three days now, and I feel I have more control of my inner world. I can really focus where I'm going and I'm not in a hurry anymore. Because I also have made these realizations that I grew up in an environment where hard work was the thing and you need to do, 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 do. It's never enough. It's kind of never enough even if you work until you have to go to sleep and then you need to wake up and go to work. So I had this 
weird sense of not being enough, just being. And this has been the biggest shift because now I know I need to set boundaries and I know that I need to kind of accept that if I have three hours when I work, I work that and then I kind of switch off. What I've seen happen is that I can be more present with my child and I'm more present in the moment and I actually get better ideas. I actually see more opportunities. And this is the biggest change because I realize that I don't need to live my life the way I was conditioned and programmed to live. And even if I've, I've always been this rebel and I've always lived life in my own way, I didn't realize it on a deeper internal level, like this subconscious level. And now I feel that I start to understand and connect more to my subconscious. Even the meditations that I do, they are more profound, they are more effective. Overall, I think like these chakra healers, energy healers, it's a really good thing once you just go there and you don't have to do anything you don't have to understand it and this is what I, I was told before that it can affect your life in such ways that you don't understand before and and that happened to me but the biggest change has been that i understand that time is kind of this illusion and my internal world what i decide to be is what i will become so it's it's kind of this you have to unlearn everything and then you kind of rebuild yourself. And I think it's Joe Dispenza says that you have to become nobody to become anybody. It's really powerful and this is something I will start working more on. I, I kind of understood that if you want to reach your goals, if you want financial goals and, and you want to be a businessman, you have to become it before you can get it. And this is totally counterintuitive, but that's how I now see it. And from my experiences, when I think about life and when I was a professional snowboarder, I had the identity of being a snowboarder and that's why I became the snowboarder. I guess if I would have had even higher standards in my snowboarding vision, I would have gotten even further. So it's super important how you identify yourself and, and what the internal dialogue is. And that's what this energy healing thing has brought me. And I want to share awareness of this because I come from a background where this is just woo woo and I, I, I wouldn't even have believed it a few years ago. I would just be like, yeah, whatever. It's like, you're not gonna do and reach anything with that. But now I understand that in quantum physics, all possibilities exist in this exact moment. And if I decide to become something in this exact moment, I can become that. The transformation can be instant. So whatever you want to do, you have to become that inside first and this is something i'm gonna start making more videos on because th this is the most powerful thing you can do yes there are these external things that you have to do to reach success and and everything like that but once you become something it com it becomes natural for you to start doing that let's say you want to be an entrepreneur okay you it has to be natural for you to build products to sell products to do market research to do all these things and you don't resist it it's like okay someone has the the exact blueprint okay let's just do it but i used to be the guy who was like yeah i want to come up with something unique and special and i'm gonna do it my way but now i understand that my way was just some false belief that I'm not enough that if I don't create some new fancy thing that nobody ever thought about. So self-acceptance has been the biggest thing. And I know I can confidently say that I'm already there. 
I, I'm already good enough. That's so liberating. Once you understand this, once it clicks that you're already good enough and you can always do more, but if you always chase more, you're always gonna feel that you're not enough. So the internal feeling of being enough already, it feels like you're, you're coming home. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited that I got to do this experience and uh, I can't wait for the next opportunities that will will come and uh, I'm gonna end this video here not to drag it out more I'm gonna talk about this experience in future videos so if you want to learn more and and know how this really affected me subscribe to my channel and uh, if you like this video like this video if you found any value and if you have anything to ask please comment and uh, I'll see you in a future video. Take care, stay cool, peace out.